2022 is right around the corner and you may be thinking that this is your year to start something great. However, you can't figure out what that something is. Well, in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you 10 unique business ideas that you can start ASAP. Hustle Babes, I'm Chanel the Brand Hustler and this is a channel for all of my hustle babes who are interested in gaining insight on the entrepreneur journey while learning essential marketing and business tips for their brand. If that sounds like you, go ahead and hit subscribe button and join the Hustle Babe community. Today's video is going to be super fun to do because I think of business ideas at the drop of a dime and what better way to share that goodness than to do a video on it. So. Today, I am going to be sharing with you 10 business ideas that you can start in 2022. These business ideas can either be started quickly or they can be started with little money up front. So if you're excited to hear what these 10 business ideas are, make sure that you go ahead and hit a like on this video. And before you even watch, go ahead and share this video to someone you know who would love it because it helps the algorithm if you like it and if you share. And speaking about sharing, I want to give the Hustle Babe shout out for today's video to Rose Bop. That is a jewelry company on Instagram and your girl was watching my last video, shared it to her Instagram story and even took notes. So make sure you go ahead and follow her. And if you want to be shouted out in the next video, literally all you have to do is take a picture or video of yourself watching this video and go ahead and upload it to Instagram and tag me, okay? So it can be a screenshot or it could be a video of yourself actually watching it on the big screen or on your big computer, whatever the case may be, and then tag me on Instagram at the brand hustler for a chance to be shouted out. Let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this video. The first business idea is to start a self-care subscription company. So as y'all know, 2020 was the year of staying home and being alone, unfortunately, right? But with alone time came more of a need for self-care. So it's definitely a great idea to start a self-care subscription box company. And the reason I say a subscription box company is because you're able to utilize products that are made by other businesses and put them together in your box. So for example, you can do outreach to other small business owners or even minority owned businesses that create these skincare, um, maybe even bath bombs, things like that, those types of products. And you can literally put them in your box and send your customers a different box every month every quarter however often you want to do it and so that is a little amount of money to start up because literally you would just have to get your boxes designed and then actually get the boxes printed but all of the products that go in the box will come from elsewhere business idea number two is to start a feminine care business bouncing off of business idea number one for women feminine hygiene is a big Thing. So with the whole self-care rise came like a need for feminine care as well, especially organic feminine care. Because when you go into the stores, there are different washes and things like that that contain a lot of chemicals. And that is the reason why businesses like Honey Pot, for example, was able to actually rise and grow at such a rapid rate because there was a need for feminine hygiene products that were, that were natural slash organic, right? So maybe think about starting a feminine care business. Business idea number three is the cutest idea ever, and it is to start a baby hair care business. A lot of people are paying attention to hair care in general, but I feel like babies are being ignored, and that is why small businesses that decide to focus on baby hair care are literally booming right now. 
So if you are thinking about getting into the hair care space and you have some experience with creating baby products, I will definitely uh, look into making that the core of your business creating like a baby line. Another reason too is when you go to big picture stores, a lot of the baby products there are very generic. They don't uh, specify textures, they don't specify ethnicity or anything like that. And so maybe if you are, uh, or if you have a child that has a certain hair care texture, a certain hair texture, or if you're a certain ethnicity, you probably know the problems that you're experiencing when it comes to caring for your baby's hair. And you can create a product line to help combat those and help people who are having those same issues. Business idea number four is to create a hair care subscription box. So all of us know that we have to wash our hair on a routine basis. We have to care for our hair on a routine basis if we want it to stay healthy, if we want it to grow long, etc. right? And so with the whole self-care on the uprise, hair care was also on the uprise as well. Now more than ever, I see people doing the big chop. I see people uh, taking like uh, vitamins to grow their hair. I see people using hair growth oils and things like that. And so what time then now is a better time for you to bundle that into a subscription because we have to do it on a routine basis it means that your products are going to run out my products run out probably like every month and a half or something like that and so you can maybe even do a survey and figure out around what time range people's products usually run out and then make that your pattern for your subscription so if you realize that people's subscriptions usually run out at the 60 day mark then maybe your subscription runs every 60 days that's definitely a great idea because when it comes to subscription based models you once you sell to a customer and you lock them in they can stay for months and even years as long as you're giving them a quality product. And speaking of subscription, I have to tell y'all about the eHustle Club. So the eHustle Club is a subscription-based membership program where I teach you all of the branding fundamentals that you need to build, launch, and grow your business within your first year. We have things such as master classes, guest speakers, workbooks, bonus classes, templates, all of that stuff within the eHustle Club and literally y'all, people have been able to launch and hit 50 orders within two weeks. I've seen people do consistent $300 and $400 days. Not only that, it's not about the amount of money that people have made, but it's the fact that within the eHustle Club, people have gotten the confidence to launch period and to continue their business because your first year can be your toughest year so if you are planning on launching any business especially from these business ideas if you are in the beginning stages of your business maybe you launched a month or within the past year and you could use some support and knowledge on how to be a well-rounded entrepreneur you definitely want to check the e-hustle club out we are elevating y'all and in 2022 we are adding more things to the eHustle club so you definitely want to make sure that you get in now at this level this price point so that you can soak all of those good bonuses in i'm going to leave a link in my description box and i am going to do something special for you if you use the code 2022 you are going to be able to get your first month for just 25 dollars so use the code 2022 and you will be able to get your first month within the eHustle club for 25 dollars i promise it is a ton of information in there we have like over 60 classes in there so it's definitely something you want to check out business idea number five is you can become an event planner or an event designer and the reason I'm saying this is when COVID hit, a lot of events and major events such as weddings and huge birthday parties and things like that, even corporate events, got shifted back. And 2022 is actually the year that a lot of them got shifted back to. So needless to say, the event space is booming. There is a high demand for event planners and event designers so if you are really organized you know how to stay on top of things if you have a knack for events maybe you have a knack for decor i would definitely look into becoming an event planner or a designer and take advantage of that rush that is about to happen in 2022 because that can help you establish your portfolio and then in 2023 and 2024 you can get a consistent flow of clientele because you have such a strong portfolio from joining during a rush year and business idea number six 
is you can start a meal prep service. One of the things that boomed literally uh, during COVID was grocery delivery and uh, food delivery from Uber Eats and DoorDash and things like that. And so now people are realizing that they gained the COVID 20. So people have gained 20 pounds, 25, some of you have 50. And they realize that they need to get themselves back in shape, especially with these events that are going to be next year. And they're looking for a healthier alternative. So if you know about uh, healthy options and you can cook, Having a meal prep service or a meal prep company, I should say, can definitely benefit a lot of people. Business idea number seven piggybacks off of the whole idea that people gained a lot of weight during COVID and they're trying to lose it now. And so that is you can become a fitness trainer. If you are really fit yourself and you have the knack for maybe even training your friends or your family um, and you have a pretty good idea of what to do to either drop weight or to build muscle or to tone and things like that, then I definitely suggest you consider becoming a fitness trainer. Because like people like me, for example, I'm trying to lose a certain amount of weight before my wedding, which happens to be in 2022, hint, hint, how they all connect. And so I would love to actually have a fitness trainer who knows exactly what they're doing and can give me the results within a certain amount of time. So if that is you, you should become a fitness trainer girl or guy. <laughs> Business idea number eight is you can start a pet sitting company. And I know you're like, girl, I don't wanna watch nobody dogs. Like, why is that even on this list? And literally like when I created this list, I created this list based off of trends that were happening, certain things that were happening in the world. And I did my research on literally what shifts we were making as uh, the human race and just as countries period. So as the United States and as other countries that my subscribers are in. And what I found was that during the past year, <laughs> over 23 million families decided to add a fur baby to their family, okay? 23 million, well, over 23 million. And so that means that there are people out there that need help with their pets. And because the world is slowly opening back up again, a lot of people are also traveling. So imagine starting a pet sitting company where you can watch people's pets as they go on vacation, as they go on work trips, as they go to these weddings that are all happening in 2022. That can be a very lucrative business for you and it literally takes nothing to start. Maybe you have to create some business cards or something like that and get some printed and then start advertising on Instagram and maybe you even wanna make like a website or something, but there are a lot of affordable options when it comes to making a website. So it's a literally a very low cost option for you to start. Business idea number nine, piggybacks off of the pets on the rise. And business idea number nine is you can create luxury or specialty pet products. This is an area that I see overlooked but I've seen businesses actually go into this field and boom. And the reason why specialty products or luxury products for pets boom is because there are a lot of people who are bougie about their fur babies, okay? There are a lot of people who wanna dress their dogs up every day and change their outfits. Um, but then there are also a lot of people with pets that have issues. So for example, my dog Bailey, she can't eat meat food. And that means that she can't have meat treats either. And by meat, I mean like red meat and um, certain white meat. She can literally only eat fish uh, food and fish treats, but there are not a lot of fish treats out there. Actually, there's not many at all. So we typically get her like peanut butter treats or something like that, but I wish there were more treats out there that had the fish in them or the fish byproduct or whatever. So that way she can enjoy those treats as well instead of just the chewy biscuit cookies that are peanut flavored because you know, she can't chew like a bone because they have like meat infused bones versus a fish infused bone or something like that. And then business idea number 10 is you can start a consulting business. And when I say this, I wanna be very clear. I am not speaking about becoming a business coach or a business strategist because I feel like a lot of people feel like that is the only route when it comes to a consultant and that is not true. So it's important for you to reflect on something that you are really, really good at or something that you are really highly trained on and maybe become a consultant for that. 
A good example is I was in a program called Build to Impact by Maya Elias earlier this year. And when I joined that program, I learned about so many different coaches that I didn't even know existed. One that stood out to me was that there are people out there called wife coaches, which means they coach either newly engaged women on how to be a great wife or wives that are already in relationships on how to save their marriage or strengthen their marriage. When I tell y'all, I was like, whoa, that makes so much sense. And best believe those ladies were having, you know, five figure months and six figure years in something like wife coaching, okay? So don't fixate your mind on business coaching or whatever. You can literally coach on things like maybe a career coach. If you're really good at getting hired, you're really good at resumes and things like that, maybe a career coach is really good for you. If you are really good at relationships, maybe becoming a relationship coach is good for you. If you're good at teaching single uh, people how to love themselves. Maybe a self-love coach is good for you. Whatever you are highly trained or have great experience in, think about creating a consulting business from that so that you can sell your knowledge. And that takes little or no money to start as well. Whew. That was a lot to share, okay? So I just went through the 10 business ideas. If you have any more business ideas, make sure that you go ahead and comment down below with those business ideas. And then also let me know which one of these business ideas you are thinking of starting in 2022. I would love to hear them. I would love to support you. I would love to give you feedback. So make sure that you go ahead and drop a comment down below letting me know which business ideas you like the most and which one you are probably going to start. If you are like, Chanel, I don't have time to do a full-time business right now, maybe I just need a side hustle, then you definitely wanna check out my side hustles video where I shared side hustles that you can start with little to no money. That video was so good, y'all, and I even shared some insight on some side hustles I've done before. So you definitely wanna go ahead and check that out. If you are not following me on Instagram already, make sure that you go over there and follow me because your girl drops knowledge over there and you don't wanna miss out. So follow me and make sure that you turn your notifications on on Instagram. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscription button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video with someone you know it can help. Y'all, help me help y'all. Share the video and literally y'all, I think that's it. I think I gave y'all some good ideas, okay? So I will talk to y'all later, Hustle Babes. Bye!